sorry. I am so sorry. I'm here. Mom, is Jane Lena, Jalen Tolbert, Miss Gail Jackson? Everybody says hello. Hey, everybody. Give me the names again. I heard Miss Jane, Gail Jackson. Jane, hey, Miss Gail. Jane Lena. Or hey, Miss Jane Lena. Hey, Miss Jane Lena. Jalen Tolbert. Miss Jalen Tolbert. Mrs. Jackson. Miss Gail Jackson. Hey, Miss Jackson. Yeah, I spoke up to her already. Okay. Hey, Miss Jackson. Let me refresh this. Y'all, I am here. I appreciate y'all being patient. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm ready now. I am ready. It's going to be quick again tonight. In fact, this is probably going to be the quickest video I've ever done. Miss Jean Watts says, hey, Mom. Hi, Miss Jean Watts. Miss Delana Miller says, hi, Miss De Delania. Charlotta R says, hello, all. So nice to see you live. It's very hot here. Charlotte. Hi, Miss Carlotta. It's hot here, too. Miss Darlene Land. She says, hey there. Hope you're doing hey, well. Hey, Miss Dar Darlene Land. How are you? There's 30 people on. All right. Half All right, y'all. Hey, hey, half curly. My Miss Charlene Cheatham. She says hello, Carrie. Hope all is well. With Hi, Miss Carlene Cheatham. Yes. Hi, Miss Janet. I see you. I see that one. Mm -hmm. family today. Wonderful. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming on. Bomb, like I said, who? The bomb. Hi, the bomb. <laughs> like I said, it's gonna be quick. Um, we're having mashed potatoes again, y'all. Yes, and I'm going to tell you why. We are going to make real quick a shrimp and kind of like a, a, a cream sauce with a little tomato paste um, to go over our mashed potatoes. Um, it's been a long time since I went to Ruth Chris. Long time. Before COVID. And that was something they used to sell, mashed potatoes. And then they have these beautiful shrimp and a cream sauce, and they put it on top of the mashed potatoes. Now, we could do this with grits as well. You could do it with, with rice. But I thought I want to do it with, hi, Miss Tina Battle with mashed potatoes. Hi, Miss Sharon. Hi, Miss Vivian. How hi, are all of you? Thank you. Hi, Miss Fran. Okay, so are we ready to get started? I know we are because it's a little bit late, y'all. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna move this. Hi, Miss Fairclown. Get get y'all in here. Hi, Miss Fran Reddick says hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Hi, Miss Fran. Hi, Miss Laverne Hunter. How are you? Hi, Miss Mary Addison. Okay, so it looks like a lot, but it's not. It's not a lot going on. Oh, she. Mama Hunter said, uh, you "I'm gonna fancy, yummy. You go, girl." No, that's not fancy. Actually, it's so quick. Because I told y'all on Saturdays, it's got to be quick. Mom, Miss Chin says she likes your apron. Thank you. Chef Jeffrey, he says, hey, y'all. Hey, Chef Jeffrey, how are you? Okay, so I got my mashed potatoes going. I always get them going first. And y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> On Saturdays, that's quick and we love them. But I'm not going to take you through, through that. I'm going to throw them in a pan back here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do with our shrimp, we're going to start with some fresh garlic. Okay. We're going to put that in the pan. I have um, a small, beautiful tomato. Let me take my plastic. Y'all, I cover up everything because I don't want no bugs, no flies, no nothing in my food. Aren't those tomatoes just gorgeous? That's a tomato. I cut it up. That's that's going to go in our shrimp. We have just a little bit of green bell pepper and a little piece of orange bell pepper. That's going to go in. We're going to saute this before we um, put our cream in. And I'm not using regular onions today. I'm going to use some green onions, some scallions, okay? And my shrimp, once again, I'm cheating. I'm using frozen shrimp, y'all. Hi, Miss Alana. Leah, she goes by Leah. She says good afternoon. Hi, Miss Leah. And we already have our shrimp. They have been seasoned with um, Old Bay, a little bit of Greek all-purpose. 
I, I'm, I think I put some salt and black pepper on them, okay? So those are ready to go. That's how quick this is going to be, y'all. Let's get in here to this stove. And you talking about something good on top of these mashed potatoes? Yes. Yes, let me get down here and get my silverware. Now there's 51 people on All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Shay says anything that makes the cooking process easy. And I also have some spinach. We're going to put some spinach in here because the spinach will go good with our mashed potatoes as well, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead on and get our... We'll put a little bit of this garlic in that, um, in the asparagus. How about that? Well, Miss Alfreda Morgan, she says, hi, Carrie, I'm in your channel. Hi, Miss Alfreda, welcome. She also, no, Miss Morgan, yeah, Morgan. She says, I, I just love to watch you. Have a happy Saturday. Thank you. Ms. Cynthia Thomas says, good evening, Carrie. And hi, Miss Cynthia. She's actually really cooking. I'm cooking, uh, we're going to do some type of creamy shrimp to go on top of some mashed potatoes. Okay, we just went over the ingredients, but we're going to do it again as we add to our pot, okay? We're going to start with the garlic. We're going to put some olive oil in here. I'm going to put it in both pans because this one back here is for the asparagus. I'm just going to kind of saute the asparagus. Um, Alana Esma, she says that the shrimp look like they are seasoned to perfection. Yes. Be, not, be kind says hello to everyone. Hi, be kind. Um, Miss Vivian, Vivian Lockwood says everything sounds yummy. Hi, Miss Vivian. Miss Cheatham is reminding everybody to like the button coming Thank in. Thank you. I'm putting a little piece of butter in so here as well. Samantha, am I close enough to this stove? Um, now, I'm starting both of these pots the same way, but they won't end up the same way. Can you get a little closer? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I don't want to grab it. No, don't. Okay, let's come on in. We're going to put a little bit of, like I said, of tomato paste, okay, with those fresh tomatoes, and we're going to put some heavy whipping cream in, of course. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my pan for my shrimp. I have to wrench my, my asparagus off. I have not done that, y'all. Now, I'm going to get my spinach here. Got some fresh spinach. And you know spinach cooks down to nothing, so we're going to put what looks like quite a bit in it. All right. All right, so we have some fresh spinach to go in with our shrimp. And y'all, we're going to take these on um, while this is getting hot. We're going to take, let me show you the, these asparagus. And I'm sure y'all know how to cut asparagus. But just in case you don't, okay, the tender part of the asparagus is up here. My square roots. All right. And if high square roots. It says, actually, it says square roots tiny kitchens. I don't know if that's the same person. Oh, okay. So here she says, hi, Miss Gary. I promise I'm not stealing recipes. <laughs> that's fine. Everybody is welcome. And what you can do to, you can do these one at a time. I don't. I kind of guesstimate it. But if you take your asparagus and you do that, this part is going to come off. This is the part you don't want to eat because it's chewy, okay? You wanna take it off. This part will be the tender part, oh, all right? That's for those who may not know. So what I do, let's turn this down. Shay says perfect picture. Now this is square roots, he, he said same person. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, so what I do is I just take the whole bunch. Y'all see that? I guess I need a knife. And I kind of guesstimate it. And if you want, you can take that one, put it here to kind of guide you, right? My and then Dame says that's the, I call it the woody part. Yes. And you're just taking your cut. 
Javon says that he's always found the asparagus to be tricky, so he's thanking you for the tip. Yes. And Jalen Tobert says that he loves asparagus. Just take and take your hand at both ends and pop it. And it's going to pop where it needs to pop. I'm just throwing them over here in some water. I need to let some water run on them to clean them, okay? My pot is hot, so we need to get started with this pot here. With what's going to be our creamy shrimp, y'all. Let's come on in here. Oh, yeah. See, garlic will burn. Got to remember that, y'all. So you want to now take and start throwing other things in, okay, to help out that garlic. We don't want it to burn. I'm going to take and I'm going to put in my bell peppers. I'm going to let them saute up. It does smell good. It does. It smells awesome, y'all. That's, that's that garlic. My coach, Tanya Mackey, says, Hi, Mrs. Perry. I love, love, love your show. It reminds me of my mom's meals down in Savannah, Georgia. Hi, Miss Coach Tanya. How are you? I hear a couple of new names tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Mr. says, take notes, everyone, on the cooking lesson. This is in session. Teach, Carrie, teach. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to let these, I'm going to turn it back up just a little bit. I didn't want my garlic to burn up. Remember, we got olive oil and butter in here. My square root said, is that why I don't like asparagus? I've been eating the woody part all the time. <laughs> yeah, you, get, you can't, you can't. It's hard to chew. Very hard to chew. There's 75 people on there. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the back eye for my asparagus. And like I said, I know you've seen me cook asparagus. I'm just going to saute them tonight with a little bit of salt. My friend Reddick is asking if you garden and cook vegetables from your garden regularly. I wish I could. I don't garden at all. We can't garden where I live. I, I, I so want to. I so wish I could. Although I am, I saw... um. What's that lady's name? Uh, cooking with Brenda Gant. She showed um, how you can take and grow greens from the the big root. Um, and I just cooked greens and I forgot to do it, but I am going to try that. I would love to have some greens. Just have them grow up against the house. Maybe nobody will notice. If you were to start soon, would it be ready by the holidays? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to turn this up, get these vegetables going, y'all. My potatoes are almost done. I know y'all have seen me mash potatoes. It's all good because it's going to be good with this shrimp. Okay, we want these vegetables to get a little soft. You don't want them crunchy. Okay, so we still have... Our green onions will go in last. We still have our tomatoes, a little bit of tomato sauce we're going to put in there. My square roots is I've got my heavy whipping cream here. My square roots is asking, can you garden there if it's portable, like growing pots that can be moved around in your neighborhood? Uh, we might. I'm not sure. Where's my um, can opener? Here it is right here. My Queen Shadina, she said, yeah, I finally caught you live. Well, because good. Hi, Miss Queen. Water. See, I'm, I'm starting to burn up garlic again, y'all. Well, y'all got to remind me I got stuff on the stove. No, she says that she made your pot roast and peach cobbler last week, and everyone loved it. Oh, wow. Good for you. I'm dropping my asparagus in this pan. That's the water you hear. It'll calm down. Um, I'm thinking of your share color, which she said I would not say for last Saturday. Everything was delicious. Bless me. Hi, Miss Cynthia Joyce. And Miss Cynthia Joyce, I, I think I'm pretty sure it was you that said you sent a card. I just wanted you to know I'm not ignoring you, but I have not received it. Y'all on these um asparagus, we're gonna put a little salt. And we're going to put um, a little bit of this Greek all-purpose. 
to give him some taste. Mama put over the get Hi, Miss Gwen. Okay, now y'all, these vegetables, they're cooking right here in the front. Okay. Mama Shell says hi, Carrie. Do you make clam chowder? I have, yes. Oh, Mama Cynthia Joyce says yes. It was returned P.O. Box incorrect. Oh, okay. Well, at least that makes me feel better. I know what's going on. My Queen Shadina says we need to carry cookbook. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm actually, I've actually been thinking about it. That is so good. Cool. Okay, we're going to drop our shrimp in here now, y'all, because these vegetables are ready for it, and we don't want to burn them up. Uh, did you get a question about clam chowder? Yes. You said, do you make it? Yes. We can make some. Okay, I'm dropping my shrimp, y'all. And then once these shrimp brown up a little bit, we pull them out, and we continue to make our sauce. And really, I could have put these shrimp in first. I told y'all, I get on this live, I forget stuff. So. Let's get them in the pot. Um, Miss Cynthia Joyce, Mom, she says, I sent an email to the address I sent for the gift card. So just check your email and you can. Okay. <clears throat> Mom, Miss Mary Addison says, yes. <laughs> this says yes, yes, and yes to a cookbook. Yeah. That'd be a good title. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, but I know it's going to take a, a while to get that done. Charlotta Arn says, I would buy a, a carry cookbook for sure. Thank you. Nikki Kids 23. She says, I want to carry glad to be here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Thank you. In Jacksonville, Florida. Who has family in Jacksonville? I don't know. Well, she says you and your family. Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all, I'm just pushing these around so that they can all cook. Okay. Now, you could take, or I could take, and add a drop of chicken broth in here to help these My asparagus. Miss Bossy Sanchez says, new to your channel from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Hi, Miss Bossy. Glad. Welcome. She says that she's glad that she found your channel. Yes, and welcome. Miss Cynthia Joyce says, thank you again. I am using a gift card. And she's saying bye-bye to get the run. Bye-bye, Miss Joyce. Oh, so Nikki Kids, she says that she lives in Jacksonville. Okay. 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 You see, I'm trying to see if I've got some, um, I do. I do have a drop of chicken stock. I'm going to add back here to these asparagus just to kind of help them along just a little bit, y'all. Welcome, everyone. You see, I just put in just, it wasn't even a fourth of a cup in these asparagus, y'all. And please don't talk about us with our asparagus. We love them. <laughs> we love them. Let's take a look at these shrimp because you know it doesn't take them long to get done, right? Hi, Miss Sheila Golden says I made it again. Hello, Miss Sheila. Hi, Miss Sheila. Am I in close enough with these shrimp? I want them to see these. Um, it's a little bit more. I didn't have it in large. That's as far as I can go. It's good. It's good. Okay. Mine is not Just going to let them cook a little bit because remember, they got to go back into this cream. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Now, my pan here is bigger than the eye, so it doesn't always cook like it should. Mm -hmm. But we'll get there. This will be done before you know it. And it's not so good when I got cold. Y'all, if you could smell these shrimp in that seasoning. And if you weren't on here, I use a little salt, black pepper, um, uh, Old Bay, a little Greek, all-purpose on my shrimp, okay? And I just let them sit a little while. Let them sit a little while. Thank you. 
Yeah, I do Right, y'all, yeah, these shrimp will be coming out here in just a minute. I need to turn them up. I'm trying to get a really pretty color on them. Oh, let's see, Ma. Um, Miss Mariah Rucker, she says hello from West Virginia. Love you, baby. Hi, Miss Mariah. Welcome. Miss Alfreda Morgan again. She says my family loves asparagus, too. I sometimes eat them uh, with scrambled eggs and parm cheese. Oh, yes. Miss Jeanette Green says, I am new to your viewing. When are you going to have a cookbook done? We're going to work on that one. Yeah, I, I've Green. seriously been thinking about it. Takes a lot of work, so I mm -hmm. have to make sure when I decide to do it, I, I really have to commit to it. All right, y'all. See, those shrimp is about ready to come out of there, and we're going to drop us a little bit of tomato sauce and these fresh tomatoes. Yes, 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 y'all. These asparagus are looking beautiful, y'all. They're softening up a little bit. And Miss Vivian Lockwood, she says, oh, wow, those shrimp, those shrimp are going to be delicious. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull these shrimp out, y'all. Because they got to go back in, right? And we don't want them to be tough. You overcook them, you got a problem. It's going to be tough. But we want it to flavor this pan with these shrimp. Turn them down now. We want to flavor our pan. So when we put our spinach, mercy, mercy, our heavy cream in here, it'll pick up this flavor from the shrimp. Look at that beautiful sauce from these shrimp in this pan, y'all. I'm going to pick it up and show it to you. I'm keeping my eye on those asparagus in case the, the liquid boils out. And I said earlier, these are frozen shrimp. I like fresh too, but frozen is just, the, it's quicker to work with. My Rochelle there says, hello from Oklahoma City. Hello. She says, nothing worse than tough shrimp. Those, those beautiful shrimp, y'all. Now, this is my asparagus, y'all, here, back here. Don't worry about it. They're almost there. Let's put another drop of chicken stock. Okay, and in this pan right here, look at that good stuff in that pan. Right? We're going to add our fresh, beautiful tomato. We are going to, and I'm going to sit it up front so it won't get too hot. We're gonna put our tomato sauce in. This is how simple this is. Very simple. Very, very. Okay, we're just gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce. It'll help give it some, some body and some beautiful color, okay? So the only thing we have left, and don't, and don't worry about that getting down at, uh, uh, dark at the bottom. It's just going to give our sauce a beautiful color. This is flavor. Yes. And the color is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So what, what I'm doing is stirring up that tomato paste. Now, I seasoned up my shrimp. I might add a little bit of seasoning in here just a smidge, okay? I want that tomato paste just, just to cook a little bit. How about the tomato paste in that sauce? It's thicker. Okay, we're going to add our um, heavy whip, whipping cream, y'all. I'm not measuring. I'm just pouring. That's probably about a cup and a half. And remember, we have those fresh tomatoes cut, cut up in here, right? Hey, there are 90 
welcome everyone. That's a tomato. I'm turning these asparagus off. They are soft enough. Beautiful asparagus, y'all. Gorgeous. Okay, we want to get this up to a simmer here. And this is where you can take and add in. And I'm not even sure if I have enough milk. I may have to add some milk to this. I'm going to add in a pinch of salt. When I say a pinch, I mean a pinch. You don't want it to be salty. A little black pepper. And a smidgen of this all-purpose. And I mean a smidge. Okay, you can taste it. Mmm. Salivating. Okay, y'all. We put a little bit, smidge more milk in there. I got some half and half in here. Because we want enough sauce, <coughs> sauce for our spinach. Uh -oh. This is not closed all the way. This is half and half that, that I'm adding. And I'm going to let that come to a simmer, y'all. I'm going to wipe that off. So how is the weather where you all are today? While we're waiting to, for this to come to a simmer, we can talk. It's, it's been raining here for the past week. Off and on, all day, every day. How is it where you all are? Well, that dish would be good with some pasta. Oh, of course it would. Yes. And I do. I have made it with pasta. Yes, ma'am. Turn my fire up, y'all. Get it going. Charlotta says you know, she wishes that it was rain. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain. 35 degrees. Oh, no. The barn says, hi, hi, hi. Chef Jeffrey said 105. I don't know where that is. Lord, that's in Texas. Oh, my God. And if we think it's hot here, I know it's hot there. That's a shrimp got caught up in there. It's Lockwood says. Look at you. I wonder what that was. Here we go. Okay, it's starting to come to a simmer, y'all. Let's take a look here. We want it to come to a simmer and just simmer down a little bit, okay? Let, let that milk get into that flavor, all that flavor in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Must be the East Coast that's getting all the rain. Look at that, y'all. It's starting to come up. I think we need to taste this sauce. See if I need to put anything else in it. That beautiful sauce, y'all. Um, Miss Mary Addison says that it's hot in Louisiana. Uh, Miss Cynthia Thomas. It's says good, y'all. Rain, rain more rain. It is good. I can use a drop more salt. Oh, Miss Pamela Hurt says, hey, Mom. Hi, Miss Pamela Hurt. And Miss Sherry Gower. She says, hello, Carrie. I'm a little late to your life. Hi, Miss Shannon. I'm adding a little bit of salt. And I think because it's not spicy, I think I want to add a little bit of Creole, whatever this is, Creole, C Cajun. It's all the same to me. I'll put a little bit of that in there, okay? Please don't make it too spicy. It's not going to be spicy. All right, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and put our spinach in here. Because you know that spinach is going to cook down. It's going to cook way down. First, I want y'all to see that gorgeous sauce. You see that gorgeous sauce? How that tomato paste just gave it that beautiful color. That's a lot of spinach. It won't be a lot once it's, it's going to wilt down, and it's only going to take it a minute or so to wilt down. How are the potatoes coming? They? They're about done. Oh, okay. um, Sheila Golden, she mm -hmm. says, oh, well, she was just saying sunny here in Columbia, but mm -hmm. Northern Dame says, 
<clears throat> bring the rain here in Michigan. Let it rain for my. She says that her grass is sort of burnt. Oh wow. And Miss Vivian Luck was his young. But one thing we all have in common, it's it's hot everywhere. But 105, no, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Mary Addison says, thanks for the amazing recipe. Oh, you're welcome. She says that the spinach is beautiful. Yeah, I can't do that. Spinach. Yeah, we're, we're, we're totally into vegetables, y'all. We love them. That cook down in a matter of seconds. I told you that. Okay. No, grab it, please. Yeah, spinach cooks down to nothing. Any kind of greens, basically, they cook down. And all we have to do now is add our shrimp, mash up our potatoes, because I want y'all to see these shrimp on top of these potatoes. Mm -hmm. See how that cook way down? Mom, Timmy Marshall. Mm -hmm. She says, good afternoon. I was just watching some of your older videos at work, and now I come home and you're live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, y'all. Let that cook for a minute. Now, while that's doing that, I'm going to strain off my potatoes. Mama Cynthia Thomas, she said that the spinach is beautiful. The time is cooking for the dough. She says, hello, Miss Terry. Thanks for sharing this. I love veggies. Yeah. Miss Emma Miles says, hey, Miss Terry, what are you cooking today? Yes. Yeah. Emma Miles, she's asking, what are you cooking? Yes, we're having creamy mashed potatoes. Uh, uh, well, yeah, they're going to be creamy, too. Creamy shrimp. And we're going to add those shrimp just in one minute, y'all. One minute. I'm just letting that spinach do its thing a second. Um, a. Marie Kennedy, she says, hello from Miami. Thank you for always sharing such goodness. Hi, A. Marie. J. It's really J. and Lena. But J. and Lena says, looks good. Really. And then Latani's cooking just says, hello to everyone in the chat. There's a hundred people Okay, so our potatoes, you've seen me do this before. Before we do that, we're going to drop our shrimp and make this, and this will be a done deal here, okay? Adding our shrimp back in. Oh, you about to give me some Does it taste good, too? Now, you know I'm a taste tester. And I have, y'all, just a drop. I mean, when I say a drop of, of Parmesan cheese, it's just a drop. And I'm going to put that in there. I didn't realize. I thought I had some in the house. I don't, and it's all good. It is all good. Yeah. We're going to put what I have in here, that little bitty drop. And it's going to be all right. If you have more cheese, put it in, and that cheese will thicken it up some. My A. Marie Kennedy, she says, hello, Miss Carrie. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Cynthia Thomas says, I just know that it's going to be delicious. Yes. I have some Asiago cheese, y'all, but Asiago cheese smells. And spare clothes in the Bronx? We, says, can't, we can't get past the smell. Charlotte Art says, I wouldn't even put... Here she says, I wouldn't even put it with all that super yum yum sauce. What's that? Um, um, yeah, probably. Miss <laughs> Land says, still need those likes and love for her. Thank you. Yes. Northern Dame says, Okay, in oh, my potatoes, y'all, and I'm just going to let, let this simmer just for a minute or so. Because, like I said, we're not going to overcook the, the shrimp. My Northern Dame says, Oh, I know that's yummy and different. Charlene Cheatham, Miss Cheatham, she says not a shrimp, butter. Here, but it looks delicious or gorgeous, gorgeous. Butter. It's a little bit more than a half a stick into my potatoes. That's what I'm saying, Charlotta. She, Charlotta says no cheese, so good even without it. Mm -hmm. She says it's going to be perfect. And then the tiny is cooking for the soul says, but it tastes so good. Yeah, cheese. Oh, Miss Cynthia Thomas says it smells, but it's good in a sauce. Do y'all see all this? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard for me to get past the smell, though. It smells like feet. Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, so I tell you, I tell y'all all the time, and if y'all have seen me mash potatoes, forgive me. I use a big one first. Because the one with the small holes, it's going to be a little bit challenging Mary, to break I these down. Butter makes everything taste better. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. And I, I make my mashed potatoes different ways, but most of the time it's butter, it's milk, and it's sour cream. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Got to get my potatoes. And I'm going to use my smaller one. Okay. That really gets it where it needs to go. Where is my, um, I'm going to put some half and half in here. Darlene Lance says, although I can't eat anything like shrimp and crab, I still love to watch you cook. Yes. Well, thank you. I'm turning that off. It's done. I'm putting some half and half in my potatoes. Really? Yeah. It, you can use... Half and half. You can use heavy whipping cream. You can use milk. Oh, I don't care what you use. You I use like your potatoes. Yeah. And now I'm just getting them smooth, y'all. Yeah, we don't need cheese in those potatoes. Huh? No, I wasn't going to put cheese oh. in the potatoes. No. Last thing we have to add in here, after a little bit more milk, is that sour cream. And they're done. They're done. And I'm going to fix y'all a plate. You need to stop cooking. Calm down. Oh, they're talking about that. I'll see how she is. Because Charlotta says, because it's aged, can't stand it. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad. It just smells bad. Okay, y'all. Let's add our sour cream. I got a drop of it here. We're going to put it in. Whatever I got in this container left. There's another one too, but it's a different brand, so it tastes a little different. No, that's all right. And I love to try to fix something that I can use up what's in my fridge. My See, says, this is like a half a container. My shade says, girl, do you know how difficult it is to find an old-fashioned mashed potato masher with those small holes? Yeah. Is that the kind you have? Yeah. I've had it a while, though. Yeah. There's 111 people in Hi, y'all. Thank y'all for coming on. Let's clean up a little bit, y'all. We got a hot mess going on here, don't we? But we're going to fix us a plate. Yes, we are. Because I want y'all to see these shrimp on top of these mashed potatoes. Yeah, that big masher, it'll mash them, but you have a lot more lumps. And I don't necessarily try to get all the lumps out, but I don't want to just eat nothing but lumps. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Yes. Okay, y'all, that's it. Let's put us a plate together. <laughs> My, um... Mm -hmm. Cynthia, Cynthia Thomas says, okay, because I'm ready to eat. This. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, Latanya says, same thing. I was thinking, Shay, I have my mom. Oh, she's talking about the, uh, the little thing. Getting me a plate, y'all. Mm -hmm. Getting my plate. Too bad Calvin can't eat it right now. Yeah, well, he wants fried fish. Oh. And so I'm gonna fry that for him later. Oh, that's nice. Cause he'll eat the both. He'll eat this and the fish. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I did see some fish in there. Yeah, Calvin went to work, y'all. He wants fried fish along with his shrimp. Oh, you just cook it up some. So I'll have that fried fish. It only takes a few minutes. I'll fry it up later on when he's on his way home. Let's. See, so this is how we we, uh, we become spoiled over here. <laughs> Fix us a plate of these beautiful. Please get these lights up. I think a lot of people wait until the video is over, I think. There's 120 people on my channel. Hey, y'all. Now, I know that is homemade mashed potatoes, so they don't look perfect, right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. As long as there's no lumps. 
I want that spinach. Oh wow. And the shrimp. Because I know it's seasoned. What y'all think? What y'all think? Get me a fork. I think you should hold the plate up to the... Oh, you're not done. <laughs> My debarm says it's perfect to me. <laughs> uh, Miss Half Curly says they look amazing to me. LOL, me too. All right, y'all, let's get a fork. Mm-hmm. That was a pretty quick meal. I told you it was quick. I told y'all it was quick, didn't I? Yes. Y'all, stop playing, Carrie. Look at that, y'all. I already feel like I need some black pepper. Like a glass or some juice? I got to taste the shrimp. What y'all think? <laughs> Devon says, now nah, that's Devon. Amory Kennedy Ma says, that looks so good, Miss Carrie. My goodness. The shrimp, <laughs> y'all. The shrimp. Oh, Shay says, I can't wait for the up-close pick. So I think you should put it in the camera. There you go. Wonderful, y'all. Mmm. <laughs> and that spinach just adds a little something. Because spinach is so good, y'all. It is just so good. Look at that spinach. Mm, 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 mm. Well, y'all. Mm. Have you seen those comments? Mercy. Mouth watering. Looks wonderful. Mm. Delicious. Now, you see those comments? The shrimp are perfect. They did not overcook. They still got that little pop to it. Just good, y'all. It is good. Y'all, thank y'all so much for coming on here. All 116, y'all. I am so grateful. I am so blessed to have all of you. Y'all remember to like this video on your way out. Share it with someone, okay? Uh-huh. Because y'all forget to share it coming in, and that's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Y'all remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. If there's anybody on here who is not a subscriber, please subscribe, okay? All right, y'all. Mm. I will be seeing you real soon on another video, and it'll probably be my Sunday's meal tomorrow, okay? Asparagus, perfect. See? Still have a little bit of crunch, but not too much. Perfect. All right, y'all. Take care and have a good night and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye, y'all.